me get some music going. Like, it's always so boring in the beginning with me. Oh my god, my gray hair. Okay, um. I hope everybody is had, doing well and had a great week. Super productivity. I'm just gonna get some music going uh, until I. until Anselm gets on here. Okay. Oh, Hey there. Hey. It's that time. No way. It's that you time. Not a, not a tea. Yeah, you're getting your tea. I'm oh like. Looking. So we got we got three minutes. We got about three minutes before showtime. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm really good. I am That's really good. I'm really good. You look yeah. nice. I like the hair. I like the big hair this week, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I get my dad a rass on. <laughs> I, like, I like the big hair this week. <laughs> How about my new cow my new chair? Can you see it? Oh, you're What's that? making your tea. I got a new chair. Oh, I got a new chair. Mm -hmm. Let me see. A lovely pink chair that matches I'm, my I'm, I'm still I'm still with my I'm still with my black um thingy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe one day our sponsors will get us new chairs, right? <laughs> right. Maybe one day. Maybe <laughs> one day. One day. Yeah. So how was, uh, how was um the week? How did it go this week? How was oh my week? It was yeah. it was good. You know, it was productive. Mm -hmm. I, I can't complain. What about you? Oh, this was this was a, this week was awesome. I got a lot done. Yeah, I I really did. I got a lot done. You know, I'm, I'm I'm working on on a two books right now. So awesome! I was doing a lot of writing this week, and I got some good vibes from some stuff I was working on. Oh, that's dope! So we can't talk about it yet, oh but God. you know, yeah, we got some Ooh. good vibes going. And um, we're gonna be starting to to mix and master that um that eleven track album. The 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 one I've been working on now for a few months, well, almost a year. Oh um, my god, I'm so excited! Yeah, that's the adult contemporary album. So, mm -hmm. what? Well, you all, you all thing up today. What's up? What's up with that? No, I forgot. <laughs> I had to put on my earrings. You know, this is from you're my school. Afro, you're all Afrocentric today. You're all going Afrocentric on us today, right? Yeah. No, because <laughs> I have, you know, I have a my little online store, right? Yeah, you do. So, you do. Yeah. So, um. You know, right now we're kind of a little on pause, but I mean, if anybody ever wants to purchase these kind of earrings, you know, you can always hit me up in my DM or follow I hear you. Camille. I hear you. <laughs> hear you. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's, we got one minute to go before yeah, we kick off. We um, get in this topic. Like, ooh. This is, this, is, this is some serious stuff here because you know what? When I when I sent out the blast on on um on my Facebook and on my WhatsApp, mm -hmm. I got some kind of responses and you know mm. even, even the pastor from my church said I'm coming on, I'm coming on. I was like, oh Lord, here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm coming on. So it, it's it's going to be an exciting one this week. So it's exactly twelve noon. Hi, Winnie. Hi, Ansla Music. Oh. <laughs> oh god it's it's really really nice to be back here um you know we had we had a, a quick one because of um on the 10th we had um where um vice came and was doing some filming and recording mm -hmm. and all that of, of it was super awesome. that was really cool that was really cool so we want to say shout out to dan and his crew Mm -hmm. Um, thanks for coming and joining us last, last time, not last week, but last time. Yeah. And what is amazing though, is this is the end, the last Saturday of the fourth 
month already. Yeah, this is crazy. Had... This, is, this is crazy. This is really crazy. Yeah, like we're, you know we're you know what's crazy this. too? You know what's crazy too? What? Yesterday we were back in quotes. Oh, who are you it telling? So Remember, cool. I'm over yeah. here in Canada. Yeah, wasn't it cold in Toronto? Was it cold? Was it cold there? <laughs> um, it was yesterday was pretty good, but it, for us it was like the day before, earlier on in the week. Uh huh. It's, it snowed. It snowed yesterday, it's like day before. The week. Okay, we didn't get snow, but it was oh, no, it snow. dropped to freezing. It dropped to freezing, so it was really bad. So, yeah, no, we got snow. It was really weird because I mean it's Canada. Like Canada, you can get all four seasons in one day. In one day, yeah, I remember so, that. I remember. Remember it, being it there, was just you know? like you know warm last week and then all of a sudden we have snow that's the whole thing sense. me personally i didn't need, well i work you know i work from home so i did not need to go outside mm -hmm. for nothing yeah okay. but it was cool because you know i like my gardening i love oh, flowers oh yeah that must have done a number to you my right? concern is was that you know a frost you know frost and damage damage the new buds coming out yeah and all that. That didn't happen, so we're all good to go. Ooh, Lauren so, is asking where we're located. Where, where are we located? Yeah, where are you located, Ansem? Can, can I be a smart A and say I'm home? <laughs> <laughs> a smart Alec and say I'm home? Uh, I'm in New York. I am in New York. And where, where are you winning? I am in Toronto. Right. Where's everybody Toronto. else from? Drop your location. Drop your location before we get all started with this hot topic today. So let us know where you are before we drop this hot topic today. Yes, yes. This topic is hot. We got we want to know where you're coming from because when we start to get into this conversation, hmm. we're gonna have to know who's responsible. <laughs> what what I you know, I is know, responsible? I know. Ooh, really? Brooklyn, Why are they dropping? Well, I'm seeing Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, Trinidad in the house. New York. Toronto. Toronto. Hey, <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> so why, why, are people, why are people are typing in and dropping in where they're from? Mm -hmm. Really, you want to drop? You want to drop the topic for today? You want to tell us the topic for oh. today? Maybe I, you know what? You know, wait okay. before you do that. Before you do that, I was talking with Adrian. Okay. I was talking with Adrian. Um, hey, and Adrian, Adrian, was saying, in Montreal. Adrian was saying, um, "You guys are gonna get at it today?" Because I say, "Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for Winnie. I'm ready for Winnie today." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna you get into it. Me. You always, Winnie. You're always a troublemaker. You're always a troublemaker. Mm. Okay, know, so, I, that, I, so mm. let me put. Let me. I'm gonna comment it and then pin it so people know okay. what we're talking about. What we're we talking about? Sounds good. I like okay, that. Okay, like so it's Ken. Oh, I just saw. I, I just saw Adrian jump on, man. Hi, Adrian. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, guys. Keep putting where you're from. We want to know Carla. where you're at. Hello, Carla. That's Carla G, Carla Gonzalez. We all know Carla Gonzalez. What a, hi, Carla. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, yeah. Cousin Hanson, nice to meet you. Looking very, okay, cool, uh, cool, cool. Tuning in from London, big up yourself. Oh, yeah, it's, it's Nicholas Cousin from Anson. London. Hi, hi, how are you doing? Uh, <laughs> after. Hi, Bonzo. Bronzo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, her name is Bronzo. Oh, so yeah, Bronzo Soleil. She always comes in. I like her. Oh, yeah, that's Carla. Like that's Carla. I'm, 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 I'm putting up on, on big screen today. That's Carla. So. Okay. Hey, Carla. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what's the topic, Winnie? Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to get it done. I'm like, do it too much at the same time, like reading comments. There's Denise tuning in from Jersey. Hi, Denise. How you doing? You haven't spoken in a while, Denise. Give me a call. All right. So, so there we go. Can, can your relationship, relationship go back to normal? Drop it. Drop it for Swinny. Drop it. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> can your relationship go back to normal after someone has cheated? 
cheated. The cheatation. I want to know. So let me start. Let me, let me start know. with you, Willie. Before we start to go to comments, oh, you know what? There's so many people coming on. Coming on. Let's 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 say hi to them. Hi to them. Hi to them. So many yeah, of you like, coming I'm, on. I'm making sure I wave to everyone I can. Till everyone joins in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because like we, this is, listen, we need whoever's in here, share this live. Sorry, you guys, my allergies are like <laughs> killing me right now. Share it's, this It's a good live. thing you don't go to work. It's a good thing you work from home. <laughs> I know, right? I clearly, I must need to dust. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying <laughs> nothing. I ain't saying nothing. I need you guys to share this live. Bring in whoever you think needs to hear this conversation. You don't even need to tell them, you know what, they're having a conversation you need to hear. Just drop it in their DMs. Share the live because this is I hear you. spicy. Can your relationship go back to normal after someone has cheated? Infidelity is a hell of a thing. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me, it's a hell of a thing, Winnie. Yep. A a it is. Hi, Nicole from Brampton. Hi, Nicole. <laughs> um, yeah, so you want to hear That's my favorite DJ right there, DJ Sugars. Hey, hey, big up yourself. You mm -hmm. want to hear what I think? Let I me think. hear, let me hear. Give me, drop it. Press uh, <laughs> it. Drum roll. Okay, here's what I think, okay? Mm -hmm. um, no. And I'll, I'll tell you why. For, and okay. it's not, not just in a negative way, like, no, it has to end. Like, I just think, um, actually, somebody commented under your post and said something so 100. They said, yeah. if you break a mirror and it cracks into pieces... Mm -hmm. Will it be the same once you tape the mirror together? And no, because now you've got cracks, right? Yeah, but you still get a reflection. Yeah, you. Th but that's why I'm saying, like, it's not necessarily a positive thing. So you've got mm -hmm. these cracks. You do still get a reflection, but it's a matter of, are you okay with looking at your your reflection with with cracks also looking at you? Can you ignore those cracks? Right? It's, well, I think that's what it is for people. Can you ignore those cracks? And those yeah. cracks don't necessarily have to mean like other uh, women. I mean, those cracks literally represent the trust that was violated. Well, it, like, it, it's, it's very much like you were a little kid and you were playing and you got a cut, like a really bad cut. And in time, that cut will heal. But every time you look at your arm, you see the scar, right? Mm -hmm. You see that scar that reminds you of that cut, and you could talk about that cut. Now, the whole thing is, like I always say, forgiving is easy. Forgetting is the hard part. Yeah. 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 I could forgive you, and I really, I really forgive you, but yeah. that putting it behind you, and that's what we're talking about today. Can you put it behind you? Can you put it behind you and mend and move on? Yeah. And, and and not only mend and move on because you could mend and move on to some degree, but there's still that level of distrust. I don't I don't trust you the way I used to. Mm -hmm. You know, and I I don't think I I, I don't know. I don't want to say what I think yet. I don't want to say what I think yet. But <laughs> You're saving your thoughts for the grand finale. I don't. I guess, but trust. It, it's all about trust. It's all about trust. You know. But what are you guys saying out there? Let me hear you. Yeah, um, let me see. Actually, let me grab my computer to make it easier because I don't want to keep having to... Mm -hmm. um, I did see some comments earlier from, you know, our, our awesome regulars that tune in. Hold on. Let me let me pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Somebody Hold said, it, um, I can mend and move on, but not with no. you. Who is that? <laughs> okay. Well, 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 you know. I think I'm that message was for that. you, Winnie. I think that message was for you. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. <laughs> Let me go um, on. Let me go on with you. Nicole said, 
for me, no, that's it. No coming back. This is where I draw Ooh. the line. It's nothing, all or nothing. Ooh. Is wow, there anyone Nicole, out Nicole there? And playing. Nicole and playing. Yeah, like, is, is cheating a non-negotiable? Like, oh, my God, Anselm, you know what I saw on, in, um, on Instagram the other day? I saw this clip, and this girl said, right, she's like a reality uh -huh. star, and she had said that, she used like men should cheat respectfully. What do you think about that? What do you think again, that say it again, say it again, say it again. <laughs> men can cheat respectfully. And what she explained was um, don't bring back no babies, no STDs. She doesn't even want to know. So, because her stance is that all men, men are going to cheat regardless, right? So, I. I you see that whole thing about men are going to cheat? Who do men cheat with? Men cheat with women. So if men are cheating, women are cheating too. And here's my thing on that. Here's my thing on that in the defense of men on this particular issue. Most men, most men who are in a relationship don't really hide it. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't really hide it. They'll say, you know what? Yeah, yeah I have a girlfriend. Or, you know, I've seen, I've seen somebody. But if, if a woman is aware that you are seeing someone or you are involved with someone and still puts herself with you, doesn't that make her just as bad, just as guilty? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, there you go. So we can't say that oh, all men are bad and all men are dogs. Yeah, and but all you men know what the thing is? It, and this is not mm -hmm. even a man or a woman thing. The only yeah. the person who committed their life to somebody or so the person in a relationship, that's where... Right who the like the, the onus belongs to so i mean that girl or guy that's the side piece like honestly speaking it's really their con like you know that has nothing to do with the other person that's their conscience that they have right. to battle with they have to face so like you can't really blame this yeah you can blame but the side you can't blame the third party shit. you can't really blame the third party i get that you third party is not really to blame because, like yeah they should have known better but at the end of the day like you're the one in the relationship. You're the mm -hmm. you're the your relationship is your responsibility. Mm -hmm. Look, hold on. For, let me stop talking because these comments are lighting up. I want you to say it. Okay, so let me see. Boney the body. Hey girl. Mm -hmm. She says cheating is very complex subject and you need to have a very serious conversation with your partner. Mm-hmm. I agree with mm -hmm. that. And Trini Petty mm -hmm. said she agrees with her met that men are hunters and it's so natural to cheat wow well, let, let me just comment on cheat? that let me, let me comment on that let me comment on mm. that it, it's a fact it's a biological fact that we are wired different to women we are wired that way and we in, in some of our previous um chats here i mentioned this too if you're raising a man child to think it's okay to have three and four girlfriends at the same time, mm. if you're raised to think that you are done when you have three women, because you know your father saying that's my son, you know, he real girls, you know, real girls, and bigging it up like if well, it's a it's a good thing. How now when you get into a serious relationship, how do you just all habits die hard? And if you were raised yeah. to think it's a good thing, then I guess it's a good thing. You know, um, some people normal. get to that point. Some people get to that point where they could just cut it off and know, well, okay, I had my fun. I, I run the route. I paid the town red, whatever you want to say it. And now I am forsaking all others for you. Now, that's a place you got to reach to in your level of maturity. You know, but it's very difficult to be doing something all your life and be, be, be rated up for it and ranked for it yeah. as if something good. And then all of a sudden now, it becomes something bad. You know, so... We, we just wired differently. We're truly hunters. And at some point, the man is going to have to say, you know what, I'm done hunting. But remember, women hunt too. Women hunt also. And women cheat also. I was talking with a friend yesterday, and he was saying to me, he was talking about the topic because it went out of his, his inbox, and he called me. And he said, you know, women, women cheat. And in some instances, they cheat more than men. It's just they don't talk. Men talk. Men like to go Women out and brag to the party. Women are cheating. It's the same thing he was saying. Because men will go in the bar and talk, boy, this or that, and this is what I did, and this is what I do, and this is what I didn't do. We love to talk. We love to talk about our escapades. We love to 
We love to sell ourselves, and sometimes we even embellish. We, we, we add on, we do all sorts of stuff to make ourselves look good. A woman would be cheating, and she would be so quiet. She, she's like a yeah. lamb, like a saint. You will not believe it. And that, I'll tell you what, that is what caused men, when they realize that they're being cheated on, to make them go and drink all sorts of illegal substances and, and, and chew, chew the barrel of their gun and all that, because it, not in their wildest dreams. Now, if you know you're with a woman who, yeah, she, I, she just do all she tell what she wants. If it happened, then it, it's kind of like you expected it. But some of these women, oh, they're like saints, man. They are like saints. They are so. Mason! <laughs> Sorry. I knew my son to do something for me. <laughs> okay. What's his name, Mason? Pause. Huh? What's his name, Mason? Yeah. Can you fix the fan, please? Yeah, so it, it, hi, what happens sometimes? Hi say hi to the people. Hi. <laughs> hi, people. <laughs> yeah, so what, what happens sometimes? Uh -huh, what's that? Hold on. Shift it over. No. And turn it straight. No, no, no. Turn it, no. Towards me. Sorry. It's so hard. Okay. You're setting up something there and you have to call your son who's techie because you're like me. You're not techie like me. Listen, uh -huh. my son, he's, he's my production. <laughs> That's a production crew. <laughs> he's, he's my production crew. He sets up everything in my room for me. That's good. That's good. Yes, yeah, well, yeah so, his voice is cracking. It's very deep now, actually. It's oh, like, he's, he's, he's still in man now. He's still in man. It's scary. I can't handle that's it. No, that's when he's going to come in and say, Mom, this is Wendy. Oh, my God. <laughs> you look scared. Don't look so scared. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I'm not ready. It's good to say. <laughs> life, life, life prepares you for life, Winnie. Life, <laughs> life prepares you for life. You'll be ready. So, Maybe yeah. I'm um, not fixed yet. Sorry. What's that? I'm still calling him. What's up? It's not fixed properly yet. And turn it up for me, please. It's so hot in here. I don't know. It's a, it's a really nice day outside. I got my window bumping, but they never turned the heat off in my building. Right. And I got all these lights on me, and I am hot. Okay, that is good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So, so we're back. back. We got comments going. Like I'm so sorry. Let's go. Let's go with some comments. Let's go with some comments. Let's forget about me and you. Let's go with some comments. Let's hear what people, folks are saying. Yes. So okay, Toronto money. Hey, hi, homie. That's my friend from. We went to college together. He says I like that mayor analogy, and I agree 100. percent It's not normal to deal with somebody who has cheated, so it can't go back to normal. It, it can't or it can. It can't. It's not normal if someone cheats. Right. Yeah. yeah. He has a point. I, I hear you, bro. I hear you. Who, who's next there? Uh, Trini Penny. Hey, girl. She says, once that trust is broken, it's very hard to build back. That is true. Um, that is true. Uh, Adi Chokoi. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Says, no, unless he is cheating on her man. No commitment to your woman. I guess that's in regards to the side, the side piece having the onus, and it's true. There's no commitment. Right. Um, but, but what about the morality in it? What about the morality in it? You know that he's in a yeah, relationship. But that's what must be a, that's between the side piece and God. <laughs> like that's where <laughs> you know. Really well, once you go God, you go spirit, you go spiritually, but then there's a moral side to it, yeah. where you know, you know, yeah, you and his, you and God is a spiritual relationship, but you and mm -hmm. community and you and society, there's a moral, there's a moral code, and if you know that this person, and male or female, because there are a lot of brothers who know that a sister is involved and they're just there, it's like, yeah, you know, they say, oh, um, I, we could be friends. Yeah, we can be friends. You know, we ought to be doing nothing. I'm not trying to break up what you got. But you know what you're looking for. You know exactly what you're looking the for. Lies. You know, there's a, we lie, we cry, we mama guy, we, just to get a piece of that pie. Mm -hmm. and, and long story short, long story short is, at the end of the day, what comes out of a relationship like that is a piece of nookie. You yeah. know, or, 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 or for the woman's side, it's, 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 it's some 
some sex, some, no, some but penis. Not necessarily right? because a lot of times, sometimes people cheat and it's because they're not being fulfilled with something in the, in the, in the relationship, but. Pick me, up, pick up crocheting, pick up knitting. If you're not fulfilled, start knitting or do something. Yeah, but you know, you know what, that's why I say like, the way I look at it is like, if you're, if you're, if you feel like the need to cheat, man or woman, you shouldn't mm -hmm. be with that person. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like you, you really didn't want to be with that person. Yeah. Period. Well, I, you know what? You know what? I, you want your cake and eat it too. I'll, I'll, put my, I'll, put my, I'll, put my, I'll put my dirty linen out there. You know, mm -hmm. as a man, a man of the world, a man of the streets, a man who's been out there, I have cheated. Mm -hmm. Am I proud of it? No. I have been cheated on. Am I proud of it? No. <laughs> you know. <laughs> So I, 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 I know both sides of the coin. And I'll tell you this. The most intimate thing that a man and a woman could share, and let me, let me be very, very clear on this. I'm not talking about going to a whole house and paying somebody for pleasure. Mm -hmm. I am not talking about that. I'm not talking about, you know, you meet a chick and you don't even know her first name, and they end up in the back seat of your car, and you take a one night stand when they come out of the club. I am yeah. not talking about that. I'm talking about the most intimate thing a man and a woman who are in a relationship could share. Because, listen, when you're in a relationship with somebody, you share a bed. Yeah. You, you might come out of the shower and you don't see your toilet, uh, your towel, and you might even say, you know what? I use a towel. I use this towel. Yeah, but I mean, it's not, it's not a common thing. But you might use you might use your man towel. It means your woman towel. It's cool. Mm -hmm. You know, you share. I, you share so much in a relationship. But in all that you share, the most intimate thing that you can share is sex, love making. You think so? It, there's nothing more intimate than that. You're letting somebody inside of you. That, it, it that's can't get, true. It, it, it can't get more intimate than that. That's, that's you know, very you're going. True. From a physical standpoint, and some, but I think no, because I no, no, no. That's why I said no, no, really. That's why I said. That's why I said. You know, you may go to a whole house and do the same thing, but it's not because when you are when you are in love with somebody, it's not only physical. Sex is almost on a spiritual level, mm -hmm. so it's not just a physical act. Which part? Yeah, you spend two minutes. <laughs> I'm just joking. But you know, you do you do your thing. <laughs> It's not, it's not just a physical thing. It's actually a spiritual thing if you see from that level. Ooh. You know, but PK you could go to and the back seat of a car. Huh? PK wants to know, Anselm, why did you cheat? Um, because, because I thought it was a cool thing at the time. Because I thought, hey, it's, it's a wrong thing. It's a feather in my cap. It's a notch in my belt. Men do it for, people do it for all sorts of reasons. You know, it's, it's, it's a wrong thing. It's because you feel, well, Boy, I had three girls, as we say, I had three girls, I'm dating three women, you know, and you're juggling women. You know the song, I don't want to be a player no more. It's, I'm thinking it's because he had gotten to that point where he realized, I don't want to do this no more. And it, because it's a frustrating life. Because here's what, when you're dating two or three different women, you have a male woman and then you have two on the outside, you ought to remember what you told Joan. And then remember what you told Maggie. Mm -hmm. like, who, did I, who did I tell that again? Yeah. You know, so it, it becomes stressful, it becomes tiresome, and you just get to the point where I don't want to do that no more. Yeah. You know, but people do it, people do it. I did it and it was done to me, I am sure. I never caught anybody in the act, but I am sure it happened to me. In all my, in all my years out there, it happened. Oh. Somebody did it. So, Somebody did it. Hold on, let's see what the comments are saying. Because mm -hmm. I see some, some questions that are coming up I don't want to miss. Uh, let me see. Uh, Black Coffee, 1961, mm -hmm. says, as long as cheating take place, you would never, you will always remember what took place and what caused the problems. That's true. Like, like you said earlier, you know, you can forgive, but the hardest part is, is really forgetting, you know? Forgetting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hard, and yeah. yeah, people look elsewhere, what they're not getting at home. That's what Kike says. Um, Kizzy, Kizzy Ann Gordon says... Who, who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Um, uh, Kike. Actually, it's, 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 it's K1KE, but it's, it's a friend of mine. We work at the airport together. All right. I, I just wonder, what, what, what did they say? What, what was that? What was that comment? 
he said people look elsewhere where they not what they're not for what they're not getting at home i i just want i just wanted to to do something on that point there um there are lots of times trust me on this there are lots of times when everything you want you get at home mm -hmm. everything that you want it's there it's there but you you know you ever have the old people ever saying your eye long your eye long if for those Reader of you who don't know the team, yeah your, your eye long because you know it's like the dog and the bone you have a bone it's a good bone but you, you're, you're seeing something or you want that too. You want that too. So it doesn't necessarily mean that things are not good on the home front. It could be, it could boil them to just being, you're too damn greedy. You're too greedy. You want all. You want to bite off more than you could chew. Yeah. So you have a good woman or a good man at home treating you right, doing all the things that they should do, be he or she as, as the case may be. But you, you, you can't move your eyes. You have strained eyes. How many times when really, you've seen a man, especially men, well, you know what? I don't want to say especially men because I might get flack from the men, but it happens. <laughs> <laughs> when you go out, you go to a nice little function, beautiful function, your wife dress up nice, your woman dress nice, she looking good, or your man looking good, you all looking top up, right up. And you have a beautiful person at your side, be it male or female, have a beautiful person at your side. When you're reaching the function now and it's like your eyes start to roam all over the home, all over the place. You start to watch other people bottom. You start to watch other people's chest. You start to, because you're greedy. It boils them to greed. We you don't know how to eat it too. So here's here's my real question, right? Uh -huh. Okay. My question is, you see after men cheat, mm -hmm. um like Especially if they're cheating with like one specific woman, For sure. right? yeah, outside woman, yeah, outside woman or mm -hmm. outside family or whatever, right? Because yeah. this is mm -hmm. this is like an epidemic in the Caribbean co community. Like, yeah. you know, cheating is a lifestyle. Men, you oh always, you're, you're gonna expect them to have like multiple families, okay? Like that's a regular yeah. thing, you know. And sometimes you don't even know until it's the funeral. <laughs> Oh, when, this is your brother. This is your sister. You, or, or, or when the two, when the two families show two up. Wives, yeah, family, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, um, my thing is, if you're, I want to know when you're a man and you're cheating on a woman with a, a man, like another girl, like you have a whole another relationship. Like, is it that you you want to have two wives, or? It's just the thrill. Like, would you would you leave your partner, or would you be okay with your partner leaving you because you have a side chick, or is that you want like you want everything? You want both. You don't want to give up, and that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes it boils down to just being greedy. Now, I have seen, <laughs> I've seen this. This is for real, where one person is willing to say. Let's sit down and have a conversation because I really care about you and I know your main woman cares about you also. But do you think, and this question was asked really, do you think if we sit down and talk about it, we could come to a place which part we share, we share a man? Also, oh, polygamy. Polygamy. Yeah, we share. We don't live in the same house, but. When you with me, you with me, and when you with her, you with her. We understand that, and it's cool. Mm -hmm. Now there are lots of women who becoming a little more, and I'm using this word loosely, a little more liberal okay. in their. <laughs> 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 That's a little more liberal in their thinking, and not, and I'm, I'm not endorsing this. No, I don't, don't think that I'm endorsing this. Mm -hmm. I'm just. No, what does that mean, Winnie? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? <laughs> What does that mean? It just means no, it's not something that you that might be ideal for you in your situation one day. Well, it depends. It depends on what you're looking for. If you if you think as a man, you could provide all the needs that is required, all the needs required of a man, and and be equal with two women. You know, we're not only talking about the sex part. We're talking about 
the protection part, we're talking about the providing part, we're talking about everything. If you yeah. could do that and both women are cool with it, I guess you'd, whatever floats your boat. For me, um, it's, it's kind of pushing the envelope. It's kind of taking it to a whole next level. Ooh, Kathy, whole next GLCPR level. is not playing. She's right. She said it's not liberal. It's accepting. But if, if, if both parties sit down and have a conversation about it and say, well, okay, I'm cool with it. Okay, I'm cool with it. Let's do Let's do this. It's not accepting. It's like, you know, I could live with it. I mean, for me personally, that sounds like settling. Um, and I don't know. Because here's the thing. I know a lot of people say, oh, um, you know, it's not natural for it to be only one well, um, you know, have one partner. Back in the day, men used to have all these wives and whatever, whatever, and all this stuff. But my whole thing is, it's not back in the day. Right. It's today. Okay. It's today. And yeah. today, right? In order to to live a pro a pro a, a unproblematic life, mm -hmm. the best thing to do is to keep keep your belongings in your pants. And if you don't want to be in a situation with that person no longer, or, or, in, your like skirt, you or be, in your skirt, away. or in your skirt, your belongings in your pants, yeah. or in your skirt, in your skirt, yeah. like you know. But I know, I understand. You know, life is not black and white, and there's a lot of gray area. There's a lot of things like you know. I'm, and I'm not saying that whatever leading you to cheat is very wrong. But my whole thing is what you do after it's done, like. Are you going to be honest to your, like, say if it was an a, a accident, Anselm, but not accident, <laughs> not an huh? accident, can't be accident, but say, like, I don't know, like, yeah, you're, you, you've been, you, you know, you've been in the limelight before in situations where I'm sure women were throwing themselves at you, and, really? you know. Not really, no, not really, not really. Okay, well. <laughs> whatever let's just say that happens right and yeah. like you know one night you're just feeling too nice and you're, you're you're you know liquor hits you a little too much and you know you go out there and you have your fun for one night and now you have it's what you do with that after like are you gonna be honest with your significant other that this happened or are you gonna keep it a secret and just do it again because you realize you can do it without getting caught mm -hmm. so i think um the decision always is like an important piece of the puzzle is what happens after you've committed the act of cheating that 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 person like even can that person be now go back to normal the cheater can they go back to normal in their relationship it, it's it's i'll tell you what a lot of times when you cheat right after the act is done some little voice in the back of your head telling you, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Hmm. You know, it's not a question. If you have some sort of conscience, because there's somebody home waiting for you. There's somebody home who is probably head over heels, gaga, in love with you. Mm -hmm. And you just went out there and betrayed that trust. I'm talking be it male or female, you know. Mm -hmm. you, and now you, 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 you dress, you function, you come home, and you... Guilt is a hell of a thing, so you're trying to behave normal. You're trying to act normal. And if your partner knows you well, they will start to look at you like, and that's, that's when it starts to break down because you will take 15, 20 years to build something beautiful. You know, have a beautiful husband or a beautiful wife as the case may be, two children, nice home. And what took 15 and 20 years to build, you could break it down hmm. for 20 minutes of pleasure. Jeez. You know? So at some point, you have to get to that point, that level of maturity and understand what is really important. Mm -hmm. What is really, really important because, you know what? Sex is good. That's the reason why the prostitution business is a striving business because people like to have the sex. The profession. People like to have sex. It's just, it's just a thing. They, like, they love to do it. And if they can't find somebody to do it, what they do it with themselves. Mm -hmm. But... <laughs> People love that feeling. That's the safest sex. <laughs> that's, okay, that's okay. A topic for, Let's go that's to a the topic topic before it gets too spicy. <laughs> what's All that? Right. What's that, son? I said, let's go to the comments before it gets too spicy. <laughs> exactly, yeah. All right, so let's 
the ooh, um let's go through all the comments as much as we can let's go through all yeah we're gonna i'm i'm going i'm going back up okay so uh black coffee said all parties that cheated sometimes makes the other cheat i cannot live with that that's too much stress because somebody might it's true because you're cheating then you give agency for that partner to to get back to do right? the same thing I, I have a part, I, stay in the relationship i have a policy and black coffee this is this is my policy now whatever i am looking for in me, in a person i am gonna find it in me first I can't be looking for something yeah. from you that I'm not willing to give. So if I want you to be honest, I am going to be honest. If I want you to be faithful, I am going to be faithful. Too many times we expect a certain quality from our partner and not willing to give that in return. Yeah. You know, it's like we, we, talk, we had this conversation before where, you know, you want, oh, you want a girl with a gym body, but your belly big like a water tank. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're looking for, find it in yourself first. That's, that's yeah. it. But go ahead with the comments, hon. Yeah. Let's hear some uh, comments. But that is good advice. It's true. All right. So let's see. Um, uh, Kizzy Ann Gordon says she hasn't found that level of liberation yet, Anselm. Well, to each his own. I, I, again, I'm not endorsing it. I am. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Kike says in polygamy, the person shared gets all, but the people sharing only get part of the pie. That's true. Well, I, um, you know what? I have no comment on that. That's a good one, though, but I have no comment on it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. The boss 09 says, there's often a lack of respect, appreciation, which often leads to cheating. We tend to forget about what brought you together in the first place. I think that's, that's definitely true. Yeah. Well, on, on that note, let me just comment on that a little bit. Sometimes what happens is people... In a lot of relationships, especially today, here's what happens. A lot of people see something because that's we buy with our eyes. That's a fact. We buy with our eyes. You see somebody, you see a car, it's a nice car, you don't even know what the engine, what the engine could do, but I like that car, right? So sometimes we, we see somebody that we like, and usually when people just start talking to each other, they put out their best behavior. Mm. They put out their best behavior. You'd never meet somebody on the first day and pass gas in front of them. No. You never do that. Exactly. Because you're trying to be at your best behavior. Mm -hmm. Right? So, and what happens is before we actually get to know that person on any particular level, mm -hmm. we're in bed. We are in bed. We're doing the thing. We're having a ball. We're rolling around in the sheet. We're in the hay, whatever you want to call it. Be mm -hmm. So the physical comes and overpowers everything else because when that physical get when that get in there and it's good and it's nice and you forget about it's what, what's his surname again you don't even know you know because you're just into the sex thing and the physical takes over so by the time you get into the deep relationship now the deep waters you're going to realize wow i i'm not really into you because then we get to know the person you know their body but you don't yeah. know them you know mm -hmm. so that, that's just my little thing my little two cents yeah I agree. I agree. Um, mm -hmm. Michelle Rose said, Anselm, if a man is always accusing of cheating and you're not, is he the one that is cheating? If a man is always accusing you of cheating when you're not, if he's cheating, there's a, there's a very good chance because people always feel you're doing what they're doing. Yeah. You know? People are always like, if I'm doing it, probably she's doing it too. Or if I'm doing it, probably he's doing it too. So they start to accuse you based on their guilt, you know. So yeah, and this yeah. is—I mean, this is not this is not a science and written in law, but usually that's how that's that's behavioral patterns, you know. Oh, and I just want to say something. If anybody is brave enough <laughs> to join the conversation, just send a request to. Um, yeah, let's have a third party coming in. Yeah, Let's can. have a third party come in here, yeah, up in can. here. Yeah, we're well, welcome into any party. If anybody has something to want to come in the room and say something, just uh, send a request to be added, a uh, video request, and we'll gladly have you join the conversation. Um, let me see. Toronto Money says, at the end of the day, to cheat mm -hmm. is a choice. There is no way to stop a person from cheating. 
Learn from True. your partner and watch for behavior and pattern True. changes. It's a fact. True. True. It's a real fact. I think sometimes, a lot of times, we get into relation these relationships at a very young age. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bram Sole, you want to join? That'd be good. Um, send a request, and I'll I'll uh, have you join. Um, but you know what? A lot of times, cheating the first time cheating happens. The first time cheating happens. Yeah. Hold is, on a second. Send a request to Bran Soleil. Where is she? Yeah. So, so the first time cheating happens, a lot of times, there, there are three elements that that must be present. It's like a fire. For a fire to be a fire, it takes three elements. Mm -hmm. They must have fuel, must have heat, and they must have oxygen. If you yeah. remove any one of those elements, if you remove any one of those elements, hey, Hi. what's up, Banzo? Hi, beautiful. What's up? <laughs> Hold on, I'm, I'm actually, I didn't expect to get on one. I didn't expect to get on so quickly if I did. Yeah. So I'm just going to go to somewhere that has decent light. Oh, we've seen you fine. We've seen you fine. Yeah, you look fine. You look beautiful. You look good. Thank you. Thank you. But your hair style is almost like mine. You look good. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Well, 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 can, can I call you by your regular name? Of course you can, Slim. You know, we okay. go way, 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 way back. Like, Everybody, like this, is Carla G. this is Carla G. We were, we, we worked in bands from back in the day with Atlantic and oh, coming wow. up the road. But, but she was she was on stage long before me because she was in uh, There Are No Boundaries. I'm sure most of you all remember that show. And she's now a solo act. She's an author also. She's she's out there. She's doing her thing. So welcome, Carla. <laughs> welcome, Carla. Welcome to Anson nice and Winnie. You. Nice to meet you, Carla. Hey. Winnie, I have to say, first off, of course, it's, it has to be very... Um, materialistic i love the change of hair all the time oh. i used to be like <laughs> i'm gonna get some tea I'll, I'll be back back i ain't going anywhere i'm just gonna get some tea all right oh, no, no, no. No, let me tell you I, girl i used i used i used to be like that too so I, I i'm know. there with you oh thank you no i know i i um i've always 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 been like this ever since i was like a kid like young i used to like always switch up my hair and people always comment why are you always doing your hair listen if you could do your when you could do your hair yourself then you, okay you know what i'm saying you can switch it out as much as you want i tell that's people, right if you want to switch it up like me learn how to do your own hair i save money Correct no hairdresser. Right. <laughs> who you think do this okay <laughs> Okay, and I like it. My um, actually, my niece. I think she's probably still in here. She she um had her hair was like as long as this, and it was locked. It was she had locks, and she just took it all off and has it like yours, and it looks beautiful. I love oh, it. Oh, I I had locks. I used to sit on my locks. Oh wow, that's how long my hair was. Wow, but yeah, so it's it's all about. Well, as as Ansem said, I used to talk extensively. Mm -hmm. And of course, stage life is is that image. Yeah, and and to offer that fantasy mm -hmm. when you when you're performing. So <laughs> a lot of times when when we were in Atlantic, the guys had a uniform, mm -hmm. and most times it would just be a t-shirt. Yeah, but of course, I'm I'm a little person. I'm five two. Oh yeah, you so. Small. So sometimes people assume that I'm not a grown woman and I could still shop in Kids Gap. Oh, you wow. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you. you know? But when, when they got their t-shirts and stuff, a lot of the times the t-shirts used to fit me like a, like a nighty. So I would then have to take it to my seamstress and have her alter it and make changes. And then I just started doing... Um, just outfits to match whatever the guys were wearing. Mm. <clears throat> but as for, for the topic at hand, yes. though, I'm back. in yeah. terms of right, so he's back. In terms of the cheating, mm -hmm. I've been cheated on from jump, <laughs> and and then of course during 
during a, a horrendous divorce. Oh God! I start. I started cheating as well. Mm -hmm. But what was what was pointed out to me a lot of the times is that mo most times men would cheat because of the physical, because they see something, it looking good, they get in a trendy face. Okay, they take it. But that challenge was always when it start being emotionally invested. Jeez, yeah. Mm hmm you and know, that's my thing. That, that, Go ahead, sorry. That was that was that, that was that was the, the hiccup then because now you have to realize that oh this is not just a one off thing. Mm -hmm. You know, he really invested in in that other woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's a hurtful and, and, part. Yeah, that is the hurtful part. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said um it can't it can't go back to normal. Mm -hmm. But if you all work through it and, and, and both parties have to be willing to work sure. towards the same goal, to, to repair it. It will never in, in my opinion, mm -hmm. in my humble opinion, it will never go back to normal. But you can find a new normal to work with. Yes. A new, a new ground, a new, a new, yeah, a new plateau to start to start to build on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The first time I'll tell you something, the first time you cheat with someone, not on someone, but with someone. Yeah. There must be three elements present. And it's usually mood, environment, and opportunity. You see when yeah. those two things come together? Now, I'll tell you what. The environment might be right, might be conducive for a little cheat. The opportunity might be there, but the mood, incorrect. But yeah, once mm -hmm. you see that mood is there, the <laughs> opportunity is there, and the environment is there, and there, there's, one, there's one more element, purpose. Because what happens too is all those things might be there, but you say, I have no reason to cheat on my man, or I have no reason to cheat on my woman. But once you get purpose, where it's like, son of a gun, you hold me the other day, I will put mm -hmm. one on him now, because everything is correct. So in the back of your head, you, you know, you have, a, you have reason, you have, you're justified in your act, well, you feel justified in your actions because the, everything is correct now, everything is correct. Now it's just the willingness, yeah. and what creates that willingness a lot of times, especially with females, is the fact that, well, he did it to me. Well, he did it so, to me. Yeah, so I, I, I might as well just do it back. It's fair yeah, game. Just back. But I mean, yeah, yeah. it's fair game, but that, like, that's, the, that's, the, that's toxic. That's a toxic um, attitude, you know? Like, that's, that's For what sure. breeds toxicity when, when you... When you know what happens a lot to winning? One. Okay, then I'm going to cheat too. Yeah, what happens a lot too is if, okay, I cheated once and I was found out and we sit down, we talk about it, we, we, we cried, we prayed, we did everything and we say, you know what, we have a good life, let's try and mend this. We all know the song and dance, we did it. We went to counselor and all that kind of stuff. When the person is at that point now where they think, okay, we're back in the race, we're doing this again, we, we're back in the race, things are good. Boom, you want to do it again. Because that, there, there is such a thing as a serial cheater. A serial you know, cheater. You know, you just, you just can't help yourself. Your, your, your piggy just can't stay in one place. You just hmm. have a roaming piggy. Yep. <laughs> you know? That's yep. A way, <laughs> a way word. A way yes, word. No, 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 but uh, but also too i think um so apart from dealing with with the roman kokolo <laughs> um, it, it boils down to a level of maturity mm -hmm. in being able to forgive and make that decision to move forward yeah. and not bring back up yeah. what was done before mm -hmm. because we like to be educated as soon as something happens like remember that yeah, yeah. exactly 
Mm, you know, I'm trying exactly. to consult anybody here, but you know, you remember that? I remember the time <laughs> you did this. I remember no, the time you did that. 100 percent Like like yeah. I said, that yeah. like that's when things are starting to get toxic. You know what I mean? And correct. No matter and I bring it back to like the mirror analogy where I said once you break a mirror and you tape it back together. Like at that mm -hmm. point, if all you see yeah. in the reflection when you look at the mirror is the cracks, you it's just it's time to walk away it's not time to go exactly. ahead and break another mirror like you know mm -hmm. it's not it's not time to tape the mirror back and then look in it and get vexed at the crack remember the cracks get vexed and <laughs> break it again <laughs> right, 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 yeah, yeah. it's time to move on there's lots of mirrors the world has mirrors <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah. you always it's find i think it also goes to self-esteem right I think a lot mm. of people, like, and for cheaters and people that are being cheated on, like, your self-esteem mm. has everything to do with how you handle going forward. Once the incident yeah. has, even, even before the cheating, like, your self-esteem has everything to do with that. Because yeah. if, as a man, you're, you're equating your value with the amount of, um, you know, What's the what's Women another easy and, word for vagina? You are out here getting, <laughs> you know, if you're a man, you know, if that's what your value is, then you're going to cheat. Like, plain and simple. If you're a woman who does not believe that she can get any other man and your self-esteem is very low, yeah. you know, you would accept, you would take, you would just, you're going to accept cheating yeah. without work. Yeah. You know, you're going mm -hmm. to settle, settle. Yeah. You know, so yeah, um, I think I think and, and, a, a lot of a that piece. A lot of that has to do with sometimes being in that toxic relationship as well, where your partner will tell you, "Where are you going? Nobody else won't want you." Mm -hmm. So then you would decide. Yeah. Okay. Well, look how you are big and fat. Or look how you, yeah. yeah. Look how you do this. And look how you do. And yeah. That is yeah. such a lie. Listen, I'm here to tell you, as a person that gained like a whole bunch of weight. Listen, there is always a man that will want you. Girl. No matter how big you are. <laughs> Girl. When, when you preach this girl, when you say there's always a man. There's <laughs> always, always gonna be a man. No, no is, is it attitude in which she said it to an apology? Apology, she said, there's always a when you see that when you have about 60 men lining up knocking down the door, right? <laughs> I, but you know but what? I gotta, you know, you know what? what? The, the funniest thing about that though is with that comment, uh -huh. a lot of people assume that that comment is real, eh? So that I, I've had, because, well, you listed a little bit of, of what I've done and mm -hmm. what I continue to do. I've literally had people tell me, oh, you, you wouldn't go out with me because the amount of man you have lining up, mm -hmm. just, just waiting to go, or, or you, I sure you don't have a man. And I just be home every night <laughs> watching TV. Watching Netflix. <laughs> That's my man on Netflix. I'm on Netflix, man. <laughs> but you know what? You know what a lot of people do too. It's like that. It's like that. No, you know what a lot of people do too, guys. A lot of people say, um, and I've heard this said, where, yeah, you know, I cheated, and but you know, sometimes these little things, and this, this is this is the cell here, you know. This is the cell, you know. You know, I know I cheated, but you know, sometimes love just have to go through these kind of things. You know, that's kind of test of our love. If we could get over this, you know, it, it tests our love to show the strength of our love, you know, because Lord it's not God, the length Lord, of Jesus, the love, God it's the strength of the trial. love. You know? huh? God is in our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't know if you guys know or, you know, keep up with social media. There's this, uh, Relationship guru Derek Jackson. I know a lot of people he watching probably yeah. know who I'm talking about. And the big yeah. relationship. This man have all all these years. This man have all this talk about how men need to operate and 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 and, and you know they need to make sure they lift up their queen and this that and the third and you cheating is so wrong and a man that cheats has all these issues within themselves only for him to get caught cheating. Okay. 
And for and then the nerve of him to drag his wife, mm -hmm. she didn't comb mm -hmm. her head, wearing a hair bonnet, to come sit down with him and do a video talking about how God is testing their relationship. Oh Lord. Please do not yep. bring my heavenly father no, into no, no. that. Yep. It's, it's only stealing when you tiptoe. Jesus. <laughs> No, look, okay, look at me, look at me, wait, 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 look at me, look at me. This is the pen. This is the pen. This is the pen. This is me. This is me. The acting, the acting. I'm stealing. I'm stealing. But if I come and I do this, I'm taking. So he probably wasn't cheating because his wife but was probably well aware. She was probably well aware probably. that he was. But nobody he was, knew he had a, like, people didn't even know this man was married. Yeah, but the wife probably knew he had a room in Kokolo. She probably knew it wrong. Listen, I'm sure, all of a sudden, like, I'm telling you, this, this thing, and it's, it's sad, and it's, it's really, it's detrimental to Christian women. Yeah. Okay? This, yeah. this notion yeah. of, because your man, your husband is cheating on you, God is testing you. Listen, God tests you every day. Putting, you, putting, God putting God God in you infidelity. Putting God, God in your infidelity and your that. sin. Correct. <laughs> God and God Correct. Putting God in all, in all your sin on your back now. Yeah, yeah. That's what they do. You know? Because don't, don't, don't get me wrong. No. Don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, as, as, a, as a touring musician, mm -hmm. I do some things, eh? Mm-hmm. Some sure. things I'm not proud of, but you know what? At this point in my life, I've, I've, well, it was a while now. I've realized, okay, you know what? That's not making sense. Let's be smart about this. But then you get, you get to a point where you've made a change in your life. Mm -hmm. But then there are other people who still see you as you were 15 what... years ago. Oh, my yeah. God, I know. And forever want to keep bringing it up. And you know, you know, you know how much people I had to cuss about that. Jesus, because well, at, like, at, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, people see you in a certain light, mm -hmm. and, in, and even, even if even if the lighting change in your life, you know, mm -hmm. metaphorically, if the lighting change in their head, they still want to see you like that. You know, yeah. and I'll tell you something, which has nothing to do with it, but it's just an example. I used to smoke cigarettes. Mm -hmm. I used to smoke a lot of cigarettes. And then 20 years ago, I decided, that's it, I'm done. 21 years, actually. Never put a cigarette in my mouth after that. But just when it happened, do you know how many of my quote-unquote friends say, so let me really stop smoking? Yeah, I'm done. And they would like a cigarette and go to hand me one, knowing. That you say you stop. Because they, in their mind, they, why are you stop and I said, let's do it, let's still smoke. That's let's how they smoke. know so, you as, yeah. Yeah, the point I'm making is you, you might have made a 360, a complete turnaround in your life, it'll be a 180. You know, you made a, and you go in a completely different direction, but in their minds, I, they still want to see you, they still want to believe that that's who you are. Mm -hmm. Because people find comfort in knowing that you are still the same, the same way they are the same. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. like, company. if if when when they know you as, <clears throat> or rather, when they know me as, like at at one point I remember walking past some some females mm -hmm. and uh, overhearing the conversation, and one of them is like, "Look, she, look, she," and the other one go, "Oh, that's Atlantic Winer girl." So yes, I I used to be whining on stage, but nobody paid attention to the fact that I was also singing and commanding yes, yeah. the audience. Fifty thousand people on any and given carnival fet. Yeah. Any any given carnival fet. Mm -hmm. Fifty thousand mm. people and and just there, and then pe so so mm. people assume that this is this is what I'm going to be at all times. Yeah. But a lot of them didn't realize that, well, they could not have known. One, I was going through a horrid divorce. Mm -hmm. Two, that was just my job. Mm -hmm. I had to make money because I, I became a single parent yeah, with yeah. absolutely 
mm-hmm. no form mm-hmm. of 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 income to take care of, of my family. Other than the arts. Other than the arts. Oh, you have a question, you know, bro, um, bro, um, Carla. Sure, what's Somebody's asking you I a can't question. So I cut you. Can a relationship go back to normal after cheating? The um, diverse says she wants you to answer. She wants to hear your answer. It there is not. You can go back to the relationship if both of y'all make a decision to go back to that relationship. It'll never be normal. You will then have to develop a new normal. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, you cannot constantly bring up Well, you remember when you hold me. Mm. Or you can't play the victim all the time and clutch your proverbial pearls Mm -hmm. at all times. You know? But you, your, you and your partner need to make that decision to work together and work towards the same goal. Other than if, that, you just put it is there. If your willingness is there. Because a lot of times what happens is people say what they think they want, what they believe you want to hear. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So I would say, I would say, yeah, Winnie, I, I, I want to make it work with us, girl. I want to, you know, I want to make it work. I want to try. I really want to try. And I'm sorry it happened once, but I am saying that only because I want you to hear that. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I am not saying that because I am sincere and I really want to to protect what we have. You know, mm-hmm. okay, I've already betrayed that trust. But if you get to that point where you see your relationship as something to protect and something to guard and something to nurture, that means you're always on guard to, to safeguard your love. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. there is you... There is me, and then there is our relationship. And the relationship is basically what you and I bring to it. Together, yeah. yeah. Because the relationship is no relationship without you or without me. So it's yeah, me, yeah. you, relationship. And when we bring that together, there must be that willingness to fight for it, to safeguard yeah. it, to nurture it, to protect it from enemies, both foreign and domestic. And domestic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So let's see, let's see what else the comments are saying. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. The boss says there's often a lack of respect and appreciation, um, which often leads to cheating. And we tend to for oh, I think I read that already. Sorry. Let me go on to the next one. Nick says, um, it's also cultural in places like China and Nigeria, men are allowed to marry multiple women. Men are men are like what? Men are allowed men to marry are allowed. multiple women. But yeah, that, that's it's, different. It's also, to me, it's that's also not... in these countries. Some of these countries to stone a woman to death. So yeah, I think you know, there, was... there, there's a total between culture and morality. You know what what's what's right and what's wrong because culture sometimes could put a damper on your true emotions. Because in places like China, where you can't voice your own opinion in the street, you could be locked up and arrested. That's culture too. But is it right? Mm-hmm. You know, is it right? Mm-hmm. Um, cafe, but Cafe JLCPR said something that was kind of, that was pointing and stood out to me earlier. She said during an agriculture culture, agricultural society, the need for manpower would have encouraged searing children by having multiple more multiple women. So yes, like there wasn't they need to populate these places. So there was a need to have multiple wives so you can like have more like more kids. And she also says today, post-industrialization, it has shown that there's more of a need for a nuclear family and strength. And that dictates the family unit and it has to be addressed differently. That's, I believe that to the core, especially um, yeah. in rebuttal to when, when people say, oh, it's, it's, it's the right, this is the right way. Cause like a lot, I, I've heard this from a lot of men, a lot of black men. Oh, back in, if I was back in West Africa, you know, if slavery is what made us have to have one wife, if when we're back then, whatever, again, it's the same thing as what Cafe JLCPR, a lot, back, back then, a lot of people are living in small town, like small little villages all over. It's not to say like it was a big like, um, you know, mega city like Toronto, and we need to populate this this quote unquote village. Like there's no yeah. back then. Back then, back then we didn't have rooms that have 
air conditioned units and plenty electricity going through all the houses and smartphones and all of that. There was no give me, give me, give me no one second, that. guys. One second. Continue. And the thing about, I think what people fail to understand when it comes to this topic of polygamy is that in order to, to have multiple wives, you got to be able to take care of each of them in the exact ah. same way. Exactly. Uh, that that is that that is important. You have, you to, have to be able to maintain each family in the same way. Exactly. And, and back and, then it and, required and, a lot less, right? It required a lot less yes. to maintain these families. Today, especially in Toronto, listen, the average price for a house so is yes, like $1.3 million. Okay? If you want to be a polyg you know, I'll be all here for polygamy. Me? I'll sure, no problem. Make sure you buy my <laughs> $1.3 million house. Best believe. And I need a car <laughs> to park car. in that garage. You see what I'm saying? And oh, you're a polygamist, so I don't need to work. You need to provide. So there's a lot of rules that like come with this polygamy thing, why it's not ideal in today's society. So it gets me really... Like, if you want to become a polygamist, go... In the in the go to the depths of the rainforest in South America and take you and all your wives down there and go be a polygamist because you're not doing it here <laughs> in North America. It's not ideal. Before you start reading any more comments, I just want to say this. This this was a, this was told to me, and here it was broken down. They said the birth rate between male and female in Western society is slightly higher for females, but not even measurable, so we'll call it par. But the, the mortality rate for young males is higher than that of females. They say a young man is more like, a young boy is more likely to run up the road behind a car, behind a ball and get hit by a car. He's more likely to go down to the beach with his friends and drown. He's a, 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 a teenager, he's more likely to join a gang and die. He's more likely to try drugs. Hence, his insurance when he starts driving is higher than that of a woman because he's more likely to, to do the gangster lean and, and drive down the road at 300 miles an hour and die. So when you get to a point, you realize that he's more likely to become vagrant, homeless. So you as a woman looking for a man, there are certain qualities and standards that you're looking for, but you get to, this is what was told to me, you get to the point where to just not enough men. Look at how much males we have incarcerated. But that's like a societal problem. Times, that's a, that's a hundred issue. times that's what you have. Macro issue. The micro right. issue. So, can't, like, you know, no, that's the thing about it is, here has you have. Work on. That has nothing to do. No, but here you have now. Yeah, no, but winning. Like here you you have. No, but what I'm saying is here you have 10 women and two men to go around. You, you, you have your husband at home and it's a rainy night and you hugging up and you loving up, but your sister two houses down, she ain't see a man in years. Would you, would you be bit. selfish and not share your man? That's <laughs> I'll send her a pack of batteries. Thank you very much. There's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, some, there's some, some Beric. Some Beric. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a certain way to know what I'm talking about when I say Beric. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I got a, I got a friend that has a little store. Uh, uh, any men out there that feel like they need they, they need to cheat, or any women out there that feel like they need to go and be somebody's pot side piece, let me know. I got a friend that has one of these stores, so don't don't well, don't, don't become well, a side piece. Get yourself. College, college. Let me bring What's you up? into this. Let me bring you into this century. There's no batteries again. Here. We do solar now. Oh. <laughs> no, you be... <laughs> next, next, next thing I'll get sunburn. <laughs> no, you, you, you put your business in the sun in the morning, so by <laughs> evening time you're fully charged. All right, anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the topic. That's my next show. That's my next show, <laughs> right? It's a, it's a next topic. Don't worry, we got we're gonna come with that topic next. <laughs> no, but but, 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 do, but do we have any more? Regard, with regards uh, to um, the 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 disadvantages in terms of more women than men, I've heard it stated even here in in the Caribbean 
that women outnumber the men nine to one. That, that's fact. And that's factual, right? Is that a fact? Or that's yeah. A, okay. Well, no, I, I, well, well, no. Let me not say yeah because I did not bother to, to check up on it, but I've always heard that for okay. decades. Okay. And it's like, so what we go do? We 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 had to we had to share, and uh, for a while I I thought about it, and then I was like, you know what? No, for a split second I, I considered sharing. Hmm. I did I did have to share for a while, and now it's like, according to um, who's this the singer? Is is Karen White? I'd rather be alone than be unhappy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. she, she's a, a mass pen writer with her songs man. exactly mm -hmm. so I mean again we, we all we all do stuff when we're younger and, and have more black hair but then as 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 we get <laughs> as we get older and and re and come into who we truly are mm -hmm. if we if we truly mature in a manner that that is that is pleasing to to God, yeah. we'd be then learn to realize, you know what? Let me chill. Let me yeah. let me try and let me try and do it right. Let me live right. And mm -hmm. if it means that I have to be alone, then so then this, this is, yeah, then so until but. Until better can be had. <laughs> um, I, 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 I totally agree with all that, Carla. Um, it, it, you must get to a point at some, at some point. Like, I have a saying now where I say, I'm too old to roam. Because back in the day, you're, when you're 25, you're 30, you're 35, your partner say, yo, what are you doing? Let me roll. But yeah. you know what roll mean. You know what to roll mean. What are you rolling to do? You're rolling. You're going on, you're going on troll. You know, anybody who understands yep. seamanship and fishing, when you're trolling, you yep. drop your nets, you drop your nets low and you're trolling. You might just shrink, you, you might wherever. just get all kind of thing, you're trolling, right? Because you mm -hmm. say, let, let we roll. But there must come a point in your life where you say, male or female, I am too old to roll. You yeah. must come a point in your life where your partner, your wife, your husband, <laughs> your significant other becomes your ride or die. That's who I roll. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, you know, honestly, though, I think I had that also, like, even when, when touring, I used to tell Slim that I think my, I live my life in reverse because right, right out of school, I got married. I never, mm -hmm. I never dated. I never dated around and I, literally as soon as i was done with school i got married right wow. and then once when when 10 years after when i was divorced from the individual is when i started dating people and starting to know me because mm -hmm. at at such a young age at just at, at a brand new shiny 18 you don't know who you are yeah Right. You don't know what you like. You just going ahead with, you know that scene from um coming to America, when Eddie Murphy asks Vanessa Bell Calloway what type of music you like. Yeah, and she says whatever, whatever you like. like. <laughs> <laughs> Hop on his back like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. You know, it, and and it's only again it comes back to the maturity of. Knowing who you are now, mm -hmm. knowing what you are willing to put up with, knowing what you are willing to compromise on. And there's some mm -hmm. fast and hard things that you also have to decide where you're not going to accept, you're not going to compromise. Yeah. yeah. And a, a, lot of, a lot of us are still influenced by the outside world. That, that's why I said, okay. that's why I said, you've got to protect it from both foreign and domestic. Foreign because if and you, domestic. If you have that person, if you think you found that person that you've been searching for all your life, and sometimes you're searching and you don't know you're searching, but you found that person. Mm -hmm. When you found that person, protect it with everything you have. 
because sometimes your best friend is going to say, boy, what are you doing? Boy, or girl, you studying man at this time, you're supposed to be playing with self. We could do this, we could do that, because they still yep. want you to roll. That's why I'm saying you got to get exactly. to that point where you are too old to roll. Your life partner, your, exactly. your, 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 your lover, your, your baby, your wife. Your confidant. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and it's, it's, it's hard when you, you want to, something as simple as I want to invest. But you, you can't invest in something like, like say you, you want to you wanna have apartment building. You, apartment God, building. Huh? You, you can't invest with, with, with a side piece. Yeah. Exactly. You know? Yeah. You, you wanna you wanna own a fleet fleet of cars mm -hmm. and do luxury rental. Yeah, you're not gonna do that with a side piece. You're gonna do that with yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And and again, I, I'm not knocking young people because a lot of young people have their hustle on point. Right. But it, it comes with a level of maturity and realization that we could we could safely say now and oh God I'm feeling like if I I channeling my mother here now. <laughs> it's only it's only as they get older now. You yeah. try to see, you try to see the real picture because life yeah. life teaches you, life teaches you, and life prepares you for life, and life life teaches you lessons that trust me, no university could teach you. You know, Not and it, yeah. that's if you're willing to learn because life is teaching you something every minute of your existence. Life is teaching you something. That is it right there. If you're willing to learn, because we have a lot. I don't get me wrong. I love my Caribbean brothers. Oh my God. I love my Caribbean brothers. But a lot of them not willing to learn. Mm -hmm. A lot that of them is. not. Because it have, it have, it's, I mean, simple things. And, and again, I could only speak on my experiences. I was dating one person, this was what, in 94? Some people weren't even born. <laughs> Some of the listeners probably weren't even born yet. Right, right. And homeboy just decided, you know what, he going and disappear. And probably like two, three years after, I randomly ran into him on the street. And you want to come up and hug and kiss, and I was like, <laughs> one, well, in his, mind, me in, in his mind, he's thinking that I left you in this position. <laughs> I left you. Uh -huh. yeah, I left right. you. Right. You know. But, but the, joke, the jokiest thing about it is, I'm 5'2". He was 6'6". Six, six. Oh, wow. Holy cow. And I'm, li I'm like, <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking up at him. <laughs> I like, I was, I was going to say something, you know, but this is a family show, so... Um, you see, you you short you short girls need to learn to leave them tall men for us tall girls, man. This is what that was. Uh, how, how, how tall are you, Winnie? How tall are you? I'm five nine. Damn. Five, really? Five ten on a good day. Uh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Show sure for the show sure for the help you. I did. I didn't know you were that tall. Oh, I, I, yeah, I'm a tall. Well, by the way, I, I have never man. I have never physically met Winnie. Yeah, we I just, know, right? Yeah, we just fill it off wow. right now. Yeah, yeah. We, nice. And, and nice. we just, we just good. We just good. So, so when, 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 when we do finally unite, we gotta go live because we gotta go live for real. Yeah. Oh, go. I've never, I've I'm never. I'm gonna look at. I'm, I'm looking forward to that one. I probably have, like you know, and some we probably have come across each other a long time ago. Back in the day in Toronto, yeah, but you would have been Toronto, like, but like you would have, now you would have for me mixed the answer. Then. Hi, Mr. Anselm. You're calling Mr. Anselm. Right, probably. Because I, I know, mean, I know your, I, I know your like aunt. I'm like so much younger than him. Like, calm down. No, listen to me. Listen to me. Okay, <laughs> Winnie, let me show you something. Let me show you something about age. Let me show you something about age. If I'm 10 years old, and you hear that I'm seeing a 10 year old, I'm 20 years old, and you hear I'm seeing a 12 year old, you're gonna kill me, right? Okay, but yeah, not that's an eight year, that's an eight year difference. But if like you're 30, 30 and, and I'm 38. If you're 30 and I'm 38, big deal. So back in the day, you would have been a little girl running around with with um with 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 Jacobs. Absolutely. I just put it on blast there. I put it on blast there. I was definitely probably 12. You understand? <laughs> you're 12 when I mash it up fat in Toronto. You're supposed to call me Mr. Anselm. Hi, Mr. Anselm. <laughs> oh, oh, Uncle Anselm. Oh my god. Uncle Anselm. No. 
But like, tell me, what is, tell me what's, what's going on. What's going on with the comments, though? Okay, let's see what's okay. happening. Um, actually, somebody said they don't agree with you, Carla. Uh, Swayze Low Barker, I want to know why you don't agree. So please put that in the comments. Um, guys, if you okay, have... Okay, no like, problem. Yeah, if you have like, a different <laughs> opinion, please, by all means, like, say, say what it is in the comments. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, Onika Delamar said, you preach, girl. So men talk a good talk, but walk a different thing to what they say. Not, yeah. not men alone. Women, yeah, women do it too. Women, yeah, women do it too. Yeah. You know, women, yeah. women, that's what I said when we started, women cheat probably just as much as men, but men just talk more. Men talk about their escapades. Men go out there and blah, 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 blah. But women do their thing. They do it. Yeah. Right, it's they true. Just do it. They just do it on the, on the oh table. God, my on eyes the... are watering. My allergies are killing. You know, the window's wide open, too. My allergies are murdering me today. Next time I have to oh, take God. my, um, I have to take reaction. Um, okay, and uh, let me see. Oh, Black Coffee said, yes, girl, I'd rather be alone than be unhappy. And me too, a 100%. Alone, like I it's not even have... people look at being alone. Oh my god, Carla, you know, I saw this thing on Facebook. It was a post this man posted, and he said, So, women who are over 40 and unmarried, what is your plan B? I said, hmm. I said, first of all, plan A was never marriage. <laughs> Let's get that right. <laughs> Marriage Ooh. is a plan B. You know what plan A is? My happiness, living happy, being able to financially support my dreams and my goals, and everything else is plan B. So I said, sir, no. Plan A, there's no plan. Marriage was never plan A. That has always been plan B. So this is the thing. Like, And I say that to say is that it's so when you're when you're alone it's people look at it like it's such a bad thing for a woman to be unmarried but it's yeah. not like sometimes women and men just want to take the time to get to know themselves like i need to know especially if you're somebody that has gone through trauma in your childhood right because realistically mm -hmm. speaking we are all our child selves as adults some of us that go through adult experiences like we've been how you are now you've been the same from the day you were a, full, a grown child with your own opinion you know what i mean yeah. and the thing about it is a lot of us are walking around with our childhood traumas and bringing it into relationships and i say that to say to get back, to get back on the topic of cheating because yeah. a lot of times it's like when you haven't been when you grew up not being held to the fire in terms of like not being held accountable for certain things or if you if you grew up in a household that was super strict, so you felt like um, you know rebelling was a nice feeling to you, like chances are you're gonna cheat, like because you haven't dealt with your ish, like you know your issues as yet. Me being single now, at my age, I like you know at first it used to really bother me, but then I realized like. I'm really at an age, like, I'm 40 right now. And that's, like, I guess, like, like around, getting around to middle age or whatever, right? I'm at, I'm at a point where I'm, like, getting to know myself and really enjoying who I am as a person. Whoever, mm -hmm. whatever man comes along, he's actually going to get the best version of me right now. Yeah. Right? Amen. Exactly. Amen to so, yeah. so, to say, I say all that, to say, like, prior to right now in this moment, like, I was not, I wasn't ready to be in a, relate like you know a relationship and a lot of people are not ready to be in relationships and they get in these relationships because that is what we're told we have to do like you know what i mean you have you know and, and society society pressures women what to have and, to and, be and together girl. and have children you know yep. i have one son okay and i'm happy with my child me too you know how much times i've heard so you're not gonna have another one you're not gonna you're not gonna give your son you're not gonna give your son uh, a sibling you're not gonna i'm just like bro find me the man and the, the 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 ideal relationship and the marriage and for sure like i'm i refuse to get in a situation 
just because society says you have to. Just because society's telling me I need to have more kids or I need to have a child. Like, look, not every woman is going to want a baby. Not every woman is going to want to be married. And, and it's okay. You know what I mean? And that's completely fine. So I think people really need to, before they get into relationships, period, you know, before it even gets to the cheating, you have, you have to know yourself. And like you said, Carla, you got married at a very young age where you, you, you didn't know yourself. How are you yep. going to know what you're supposed to accept from what yep. you're not supposed to? You gotta, you age. gotta take that time. You gotta, you gotta, you really got to take that time. Like a lot of the, a lot you of know. the reason is, and I get it because biology has a lot to do with it too, right? Because you can, you know, a lot of, I know I have a lot of friends that are in their mid thirties now and they don't have children and they're like super worried about the fact that like, you know, I, I, I don't have, there's no relationship inside. I don't have no kids. Like, you know, worried about these things. And I'm just like, look, look, the way I see it is like, the more people, I know this is going to sound bad and a lot of people are probably going to get at me for what I'm about to say, but I just think it's true. The more people you have in your life, in your personal circle, is is the more problematic your life is going to get. Okay? The more chances Three. are your life is going to, your, your life is going to get more problematic so you have to be really picky and choosy with who you want to bring in your circle to 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 make sure you maintain your sanity and not just because you want a kid or not just because you want you want a relationship or whatever the case is it's pointless it's toxicity it doesn't make any sense what's the sense in be, being with somebody that continuously has a history of cheating on you just to say you're married yeah, you're, yeah. yeah. We have a short, our life is so short. And the older you get, and the more people you lose, you realize, like, our time is very, 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 very limited here. And Extremely very precious. Limited. Very we precious. No, we literally, like, mm -hmm. we have no time. No time. For the to waste years. time. No time to waste time. To waste because time. None. None. Yeah, so, because yeah, what happened? So I don't what, think what happened? relationship could go back to the same after cheating. Like, I yeah. don't. I really don't. There's no way it can. But my whole and thing then is and then even 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 with with the cheating as well, sometimes you end up being in abusive relationships. Exactly, because cheating is a that. form of so, abuse. Whether whether mm -hmm. it, whether it, it may be physical or emotional mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. mental or verbal, or, you, or, or verbal, mm -hmm. you get caught up in in that swill yeah and you, you feel like if you're drowning but sometimes you feel as if there's no way out because again where you going nobody ain't gonna want you mm -hmm. yeah. so you have to you have to stay and take whatever i give you it. Want it for the yeah. kids for the for, and, and to me that's the worst that thing possible and i, no, I think no, a lot of times no. things go down that road because here why coming back to that same point we don't take time, time to get to know that person we like to jump into bed too quickly mm -hmm. everything yeah. is about is about sex and sex and sex and we jump into bed and we never know the person so yeah. when you get into the, the situation now because you you think that you're having sex in a relationship but there's no relation there was never a relation other than a sexual relation you don't know that person if you spend enough time to get to know that man or to get to know that woman, because you know what? People could only fake that shit for so long. You could exactly. only fake that for so long. So if you spend enough time around them, you'll realize you phony as hell, like a three dollar bill. You phony. Mm -hmm. But you're exactly. gonna spend, you're gonna spend enough time around them before you get physically involved and emotionally involved. And you just you when you when you get to that point, you could say, mm -mm, I'm good. I'm good. Because yeah. you know what? You never, you, you never invested your body in it, but you took time off to realize this is not real. But this even, real. even to, to, even to add on to that, and Slim. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, again, hindsight is is whatever the, the phrases, but twenty twenty, yeah. yeah, right. But you, we now need to pass on to those coming behind us. Get to know yourself Self, first. Yeah. Before you actually attempt to know somebody else mm -hmm. who you want to bring in to, to, to share your space. And, and with the because understanding, too, 
with the understanding that self-knowledge is, is continuous. You don't just say, well, I know me now. It's every day you, you learn something about yourself because you know what? Every day you got to try and spend time. I'm a person, I spend a heap load of time by myself. And I've come to realize the two things that I value the most is my space and my sanity. What? Any yeah. Time, anytime you invade my space and you invade my sanity, we will have a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, like, like I always tell people, do not show up at my door unannounced. And I say that what? loud. Don't, don't come at my doorbell. We'll have a problem. <laughs> my, my, don't come and tell me, hey, <laughs> outside. You'll no. stay outside. Yeah. My space and my sanity is very, very important to me. Very important to me. And I spend a lot of time by myself. I do a lot of self-searching. I take, you know, you've got to take an introspective look at you, find you. But this is constant. This is constant. Yeah. This is like, Especially this is like, you no longer go before you go to school. Let me just say this. You no longer go before, after, after the summer holidays or the August holidays, as we used to call it. Your mother will call you when you take a purge. You have to flush mm. out. You take right. a wash out before you go back. You take a wash Ever so often, <laughs> you still have to take a wash out. Because, oh, yeah, you're going to take a flush out. Because information is coming at you from everywhere. So, and, and yep. you're, you're influenced by what you hear, what you see, and all the things around you. So sometimes you have to go back into yourself on a, on a regular basis. So self-growth is constant. Mm -hmm. But the more you know yourself, the more you understand yourself, is the more you would see people. You become, you'll get, you'll develop a spirit of discernment where you could see bullshit from a mile away. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and you can see it, you start to smell it before you see it. You just know. <laughs> you just know. As, 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 you, as you said that, I remember um, working with, with some others and. Uh, what, there, there was a conversation I was having with, with our road manager. And, you know, people were saying, but, but certain members of the team were saying certain things. And mm -hmm. the road manager pointed out, he's like, you know what, Carla? People see that one as just being flitty and whatever. They see that one as somebody who pretending but your face and your demeanor always has a if you come in come correct mm -hmm. yeah. Be because come good, because come good or stay home come good or stay home <laughs> yeah because at at that time again my focus was always on taking care of my family making mm -hmm. sure that I'm providing for my boys and for my mom you know and Dealing, having to deal with so many different people and in entertainment, yes, you have a, a, a public life and therefore people assume mm -hmm. that they have the right to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, they, they even, they, at one point they started rerunning No Boundaries. When you don't, I don't think you'd know what No Boundaries is. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a local soap opera. Oh, okay. In That's Trinidad, cool. and I, I was one of the principal characters, mm -hmm. but I was acting as a fifteen-year-old school girl. Mm -hmm. What people didn't know was that I was already a married woman. Oh wow! And in that, and in that first series of No Boundaries, I was wearing the school uniform. I was actually pregnant. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> and and the director used to be telling the crew, okay, y'all, we need to hurry up, we need to hurry up, because Carl is getting bigger every oh, day. Oh, that's so funny, yeah. But then now with with the reruns of No Boundaries, I would, I my stage persona is one thing, but then I'm super, super, super private with my space and my time and me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on, on a personal level. So sometimes people would walk up and go, oh my God, can I hug you? And inside I go, <laughs> I don't know you. But, <laughs> you know, but, but, but then as an you entertainer, you, you have to still allow yourself to, to, to be accessible. And then in, in, in allowing yourself to be accessible, people then assume, well, men then assume, nah, she, 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 she'll have a set of man and, and 
you 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 go just be and it's like mm, no goes back to the confidence thing man like and i'm <laughs> and honestly you should be glad when men think like that because that means that you don't even have to waste your time girl please <laughs> Anyway, you don't ladies, even want them anyway, kind of guys ladies. that are so like low self esteem. Listen, oh my God, men that are listening, let me tell you something. I'm so sorry if I offend any of you guys, but a low self esteem is the most unattractive biggest, thing you know. Biggest man. turn off. And when I say low self esteem, I'm not talking about oh you just walk around saying bad things about yourself. I'm talking about being insecure. Like you can be. The biggest man, you know, out here in these streets, big baller, whatever the case is. But if you're constantly harassing your girl and accusing her of cheating, and or like, you know, you constantly want to know where your girlfriend is at all times, or you know, you need you need a phone call every hour. You're just doing stupid stuff like that. That's insecurity. That's low self esteem. And and, like, and and women and women going through the men's phones and checking out all the texts and the messages and everything. Yeah, all of that. All that insecurity, no. Once once you're working together, and and it it takes again a level of maturity mm -hmm. and a decision that both of you all have made to mm -hmm. work towards the same goal. Yeah, you know, and, and a lot of times, as as Ansem said, we we're not taking time to to know ourselves, and we're not taking time to know yeah. that person to see if mm -hmm. it makes sense. And I want to take back to, to what Cafe JL CPR had said a little while ago about the different stages of society, right? Because like, okay, back then, like not even too, not too long ago, like in the 50s and like, you know, 60s, like it was very important to have this so-called family that we talk about is not necessarily a thing now. It was very important because like, you know, after all this the, the the world war ii and then the, the depression all this stuff you know like all this all this the the the, in this, the industrialization all these things that needed workers and people to be involved that that really needed you like like my like you know my mom was a baby boom was a baby boomer she need like she needed to be born because there wasn't enough people anywhere but we're mm -hmm. living in a day and age of society where, you know, we're, we're well populated. Women don't, like, women and men don't, like, you can take, it's, it's bad. And there's so much going on. Like, there's so much going on with, with the internet. So much outside forces. Like, mm. you, you, it's a necessity to get to know yourself before getting in a relationship. It's a necessity. Yeah. To protect, it yeah, is, to protect your, is, your space is. and your circle, like I, I you know, can't for that there enough. There wasn't, there wasn't that, like that wasn't a big deal, like because the focus was more, you know, um, being with somebody so you could have a family, like that was the super. Focus and, and now. It, it, I can't, Winnie, I can't even reinforce that enough because I'll tell you something. As as a brother, I have been in and out of relationships without. Without sometimes without any space in between it, relationships end up overlapping. Mm -hmm. They end up overlapping. And from a young man coming right up, you realize, wait a minute, there was no period in my life when I could say, I'm single. You live I'm alone. Single. You're good. I, I am alone. I have, you know, because th there must have been some kind of need to always have somebody because they keep overlapping. And once I pulled away from that, Mm -hmm. Once I pulled away from that and gave myself that time to just check me out, you know, to check me out. I don't need to check me out, you know, to check out my relationship with God. Yeah. Because a lot of times, a lot of times we function like we're independent of God and we almost ashamed to talk about it. You know, we talk about sex, we talk about jobs, we talk about cars, we talk about relationship. We never talk about God. Yeah. You know, we never talk about God. And, and you know what? You, like, you know what? When, yeah. when, when I got to that place where I started to develop a, 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 a better relationship with God, I started to develop a better relationship with me. Mm -hmm. Because I, I was having relationships with everybody, but I wasn't having a relationship with myself. Yeah. You know, and I, I am now at that point where 
I am I am in love with me and not in a vain conceited way, but I I am starting to like me. Really, mm -hmm. not love, but I, I, I'm starting to like who I am. I'm starting yeah. to like the things I stand for. I'm starting to like my belief system. I'm starting to like things about me. Yeah. You know, that because I never there are, there are a lot of people who don't like themselves. And, that, and that's the problem. Yeah. And that's things the problem. I never knew before. So now, now with all, with, comes the in. thing is, with all the relationships that went before, now when I present myself to somebody, you know, they don't only get, you know, and it might sound real cliche, but they don't only get any rest of me, they're going to be getting the best of me. Because I'm at that point now where I really understand myself and I could present myself as this is it. As opposed yeah. to just, what, what happens a lot to, and Winnie, you and I spoke about this, we come into relationships and keep bringing baggage from the other one. Mm -hmm. Keep bringing baggage from the other one. And, and it keeps piling up. And before you know it, you have a whole room of just, Baggage okay. from 5,000 different relationships. I mean, you know, I'm just exaggerating. It's, tra it's trauma, you know. When yeah, you get yeah. And you bring, that, you bring that into your new scene here now, into your new situation. So the be best thing to do is to keep away for as long as you can, not just for keeping away, sake, not for hating. I don't want a man in my life. I want a woman. That's the purpose of it. The purpose of it is self-discovery. Find yourself. Find your center. Find your God. Find your relationship this way and then find a relationship this way. You know, and once you get to that point, I think then, then and only then you are in a good position. You are now prepared. You are now ready yeah. to love somebody and have somebody love you back in return. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Um, I don't want. I don't want to sound like that was my. That was the, like my word is final. But you know, we've been going for our one for two minutes. I know. I was looking at the time too. I was like, oh wow, it's almost been two hours, and we're always only supposed to be on here for an hour. You see what you did, Carla? You made you made us turn up. We gotta come back to another <laughs> conversation. We gotta we gotta make sure we bring up Carla again. Yeah. So why? We're gonna invite you gonna invite you sometime, Carla. We're gonna invite you up sometime. Yeah. No problem at all. Well. It was it was my still. pleasure. It was definitely my pleasure. I mean, Slim and I go back way back and mm -hmm. we we've been friends. We we don't see each other very often at yeah. all. But you know that they just have some people who your friends you could call a friend? Yeah. We're friends. And that's good. And also, I, I love we, that. We, we, we don't so have to see each other every day, but when we see each other, it's like, yeah, Mr. B. Huh? Exactly. What did you say, Winnie? You're in Trinidad right now, Carla? Yes, yeah. I am. Okay, the next time I come, I have to this come. Is truly, to this is truly an international. Here. This is truly an international chat here. I you know, know okay, right? Sure. So, sure. So, I have two people. So we got Toronto, we got New York, we got Trinidad. There you right? go. So when you have any final words, when it comes to the factor, when it comes, when you leave Trinidad, are you going exactly. to New York or are you going to Toronto? <laughs> so you, when when you that, when it comes to Trinidad, come 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 check me out. That's yeah, not a problem. I, honestly, at all. I, I go to Tobago all the time. Like every year, it's just because of COVID. I haven't. I never got to go um, last year, or, or you know, I'm still hoping and praying to God I I can do something in December. Because, like, that's where Actually, I'm going to retire. Just came back, I, I was in Tobago last weekend. Yeah, that's my favorite place to be. Mm -hmm. that's my, <laughs> I just go down to Tobago and give you, trouble. You were one of the people in the super spread. Anyway, that's a whole different conversation. <laughs> um, Winnie, do you have any final words for all our listeners, all our guests? Um, what do you want to say? Final, my final oh, no, let me word. start with Carla. Let me start with Carla. Sorry, oh, let me yeah, start with Carla. Carla. You go ahead. Well, I want to thank you all for opening up and actually accepting me into the conversation. Um, yeah, I, I think I had some, some, some words to share because I got level butt in my life. But <laughs> <laughs> it happens. <laughs> it happens. But level as, one. As what do you call it? Level as, one. <laughs> level one. <laughs> but but I, share, I share some too. Not, mm. not proud of in hindsight, but... Yeah. It's all, it's all part of life. And the, the bottom line is once we learn from what we've done and who we were, we will be able to grow or we should yes. be able to grow and become better people. Absolutely. Um, I agree. Really? And that was amazing final words, Carla. I like that. And Thank I think you. that's really? just what it is. It's, it's growth. So my final words 
are, um, first of all, I think we do need to do uh, another topic about what happens when you, when you've left the relationship and, and you've grown and you now treat your new relationship better than the last, like, what? How's the person, how's the ex supposed to feel? Like, <laughs> they turn you into a good thing person. or she lost a good thing. And you don't he lost a good thing or she lost a good thing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so, but really and truly, um, my last words are like, I just, I will always preach this every single time we have this love yourself okay love yourself love yourself and remain unproblematic like you know the, mm. the less people you have in your in your inner circle the easier life can become because the less chances you'll you'll end up being in like compromising situations like um bringing another person into your marriage or relationship mm -hmm. that is unwanted so i will always say love yourself be and and work on being your best self best version of yourself that's my last words i i, I just want to say something that i said before i just want to reiterate whatever you 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 want from the other person try and find it in yourself first mm -hmm. if you want honesty find honesty. you can't be looking for an honest woman or honest man when you are dishonest mm -hmm. find it in yourself first um but more importantly Find your center, find, find your God, find God, find, you know, establish that. And I think There's once you establish that. someone that will pray with you. Huh? Oh my God, yes. Some, I said someone I that will pray with you. Somebody who would pray with you because you know what? The Bible talks about being unequally yoked. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't find somebody who doesn't believe in God and you're, you're, trying, to make, you're trying to make a dog go meow, you know, it, you know, or a cat go roof, roof. It, it doesn't work. Find somebody who have your same belief system. It makes life a whole lot easier. Find somebody who, who have, who's passionate, not necessarily about the things you are passionate about, but they're basic things. You know, they're passionate about life. They're passionate about nature. They're passionate about, you know, there's some people who don't care if the forest burn down their business. Find mm. people who you yes. share yeah. common, common, yeah. what's the word I'm looking for? Come on, help me somebody. <laughs> <laughs> like like my interest like like mine yeah interest. you're, you're going to find that person and when, once you find that person then then start to build on it and let the physical will come don't worry about the physical it will come and it will happen and we'll have a lot of time for it but find that person and build mm -hmm. build a real strong relationship a foundation that's that's where the concrete in your foundation is about prayer you need to be able to pray with mm -hmm. your partner mm -hmm. you know you need to be able to have yeah. conversation with that person laugh with that person talk with that person and once you start to build that, it's going to be very difficult for outside forces to infiltrate your mm -hmm. personal circle. Yeah, true that. It's a, it's a mm -hmm. fact. Once you're able to pray with somebody and really pray and not just like they're just talking, like you found yeah. your person, man. Yeah. You really found exactly. your person. Because it's very hard to so, like, you know, it's hard to find a relationship where you feel comfortable enough to say like, you know, let's pray together. Let's not let's like. Pray together. Yeah, yeah. Once you can do that, and the other person yeah. is like, "Oh yeah, let's do that," then you know, yeah. okay, okay. Now there are some people that's who. Like the next some people, we gotta no, talk about I, I know, I know. We said our final words already, right? I but know. have some people who would see you going to church, Winnie. They see you going to church, and let's use in church. Let's use in church. They see you going to church, and it's like all of a sudden, oh gosh, you're no more Bible than them. Mm. And it, it, mm. it's all a game. It's all a game because they know what they're looking for, or they see you. They see you going to the library studying. All of a sudden, you are more studious than them. Mm -hmm. It's just that they're trying to fake something because there's one thing on their mind. And once they get that, that's it. To that's why I say, take time, take a lot of time to know that person because you can't fake that for long. Mm -hmm. The is going to come out. It's real you is going to just start to ooze out and you realize, oh, uh -huh. it's going to ooze out because you're, you're, remember you're stifling the real you to present yep. a fake you to somebody to get something. You know, I'm, I'm stifling who I am. Yeah. But one, yeah. once you spend enough time around that person, you'll realize that you real them. Going to start to ooze out through the pores. They'll start to come out and you realize, oh, God. All right. <laughs> you got to take that time. You've got to take that time. You know? Absolutely. So but who's yes, going to say thanks to the fans? Who's going to say thanks to the fans now? 
Okay, thank you to everybody for coming in. We appreciate it. We had like so we had like I seen at one point we had like thirty eight people in here. Like that's good compared to I, I, I just want to say something. Kalaji, Kalaji has a has a new song and a new video out. So I don't know if she want to tell people her her IG yes, handle. Carla, drop your promo, please. My my IG handle is Bronze Soleil. That's B R O N Z S O L E I L. That's Bronze Soleil. Uh, the name of my song is Secrets. The Secrets by Carla C Gonzalez. It's grown folks music. Mm -hmm. It's grown folks music. You can check it out on all streaming People platforms. Good, good. Yes. So <laughs> you can also check my book out. Bronze Soleil. Go follow her right, 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 right now. Yeah, and you you can also check my book out on Amazon.com. My book is From Tears to Lip Gloss. Yes, girl. You gotta send us flyers yeah, so I, I, and me I, can post yeah, it on I, our stories. No problem. <laughs> send it, send it. No Make problem. Sure you follow me too, because I'm about to follow you. Yes, ma'am. For sure. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> so so Winnie, you 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 say bye bye to everybody. You say bye-bye. All right, guys. Peace out. See you next. Sat, like not next Saturday, but next month. Next month. <laughs> next month. Miracles and blessings. Yes. Take care, <laughs> everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks for jumping bye. in. Bye. <laughs>